Okay, welcome to tutorial 2 of computer architecture. Today we'll talk about the CPU time. So what's the CPU time? It's simply the time CPU spends computing for this specific task. Excluding I.O. delays, excluding any type of delay, it's just the time CPU spends computing this task. So, um, CPU time is equal to the CPU clock cycles over the clock rate. Makes sense. So, how can we calculate the CPU clock cycles? The CPU clock cycles are simply the number of instructions you have in this task times the cycle per instruction. So, is that cycle per instruction constant? I guess no. The multiply takes a large number of cycles to execute, while the add takes a small number. So, in case of all instruction taking the same number of cycles, this is applicable. We'll see in next video what can we do if we have different CPIs. So, let's look at example 1.5 in the textbook. Consider three different processors, P1, P2, and P3, executing the same instruction set. P1 has a 3 GHz clock rate and a CPI of 1.5. P2 has a 2.5 GHz clock rate and a CPI of 1. P3 has a 4 GHz clock rate and a CPI of 2.2. Which processor has the highest performance expressed in instructions per second? So, what do we know about performance? Yes, performance to 1 over the execution time. Now we know how to calculate the execution time. So, we said the CPU time is equal to... Uh, CPU clock cycles over the clock rate. So what do we have here in terms of this? We have the, yes, the clock rate and the CPI. What can we do with the CPI? He said that we, the, the Three different processors run the same instruction set. This means that it has the same instruction count. So um, we can say that the CPU time is equal to is equal to I times one point five over the clock rate which is 3 gigahertz 3 times 10 to the power of 9 okay we need the inverse of that as we said performance is 1 over execution time so the inverse of that would be 3 times 10 to the power of 9 over i times 1.5 let's exclude i because we are calculating for the same number of instructions. So 3 times 10 to the power of 9 over 1.5 is equal to 2 times 10 to the power of 9. This is the performance uh, in instructions per second. So that's for P1. For P2, uh, by the same formula, it would get 2.5 times instructions per second. And for 3, we're going to take 1.8 times 10 to the power of instructions per uh, second. So, who's the better one? Yes, the one that uh, takes more instructions per second which is p2 so getting to the second uh, part of the question 
if the processor each executes uh, a program in 10 seconds here we gave us the yes the CPU time find the number of cycles and the number of instructions so let's get the number of cycles at the beginning we have the CPU time is equal to uh, CPU clock cycles over the clock rate so uh, we need to find the CPU clock cycles so it would be CPU clock cycles equal to CPU time times clock uh, rate CPU time for processor 1 was 10 uh, seconds so 10 times 3 times 10 to the power of 9 would get us 30 times 10 to the power of 9 seconds so here we got the CPU clock cycles for P1 so what he was trying to find for P1 again the number of instructions so how can we find the number of instructions having the uh, number of cycles okay we knew that the um, number uh, the, the, the clock cycles are equal to the CPI times number of instructions then we have here the CPI okay and we have the clock cycles so the number of instructions would be clock cycles over the CPI so the number of instructions would be equal to uh, 30 times 10 to the power of 9 over 1.5 5 which is the CPI that would get us 20 times 10 to the power of 9 that's for P1 so let's get to the third part of the question he says we are trying to reduce the uh, execution time by 30 percent so uh, this leads to an increase of 20% in the CPI he needs us to find uh, the clock rate to get that time reduction then line the new CPI at the beginning so the new CPI would for processor one uh, CPI new equals CPI old times yes times one point two for processor one that would get us um, one point eight new so. Given that the frequency of P1 is equal to the number of instructions times the CPI over time, we can calculate the 
Okay, uh, let's say uh, for P1, that would be equal to number of instruction 20 times 10 to the power of 9 now times 1.8 over 7. That would get us 5 point gigahertz. So, the problem for processor uh, one. Uh, please try to answer the processor the same uh, problem for processor uh, two and three. Thank you.